What's up guys, MMA Game here bringing you another video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Vote for who you want to see in the next video. And whichever fighter gets the most votes will be in the next video. But here we go. Featherweight action. Overcoming the calf. Jose Aldo as chosen in the last video from the votes. He got the most votes. And so here we go. And I will say right off the bat that this calf might be a uh, subscriber or may have seen some of my videos because he uses the spin to win strategy like I have never seen before. This guy is a spinner and a half and he would go down in history as uh, a very, very good um, spinner. He definitely spins to win as you could uh, see you know pretty much throughout this entire fight and that strategy when in combination with his super calf here technically I guess not a super calf because it's not one of like the 200 225 rating but his speed was definitely 100 and he can just throw these spinning wheel kicks pretty much as fast as a jab so my whole strategy in this fight when you got a, a calf like this that you're you're going up against and you see he's spinning to win there's really no beating him if he really is smart with it but a lot of them aren't and as you can see what i'm doing here is pretty much what you want to avoid doing which is getting into like a close quarter battle with them because they're just going to spin around a couple times and rock you with either spinning back fists or kicks. And it's just not smart. Or those spinning back elbows, which are just insane. But, you know, I kind of wanted to, you know, get in there and strike with them. But as, after a while, I back off because I realize that it's too risky. And when I start really targeting, which I've already been targeting, is actually his leg. And I destroy his leg with Jose Aldo. If you have not used Aldo, um, it would, it's actually made it good for this fight is because he's a calf and I'm Jose Aldo, and at that point, it's pretty much balanced. As you can see, this little glitch here, it looked like I was in a side control up against the cage. It's pretty crazy right there, but going into round two, as I was saying, Jose Aldo is very, very overpowered, very good in the game, and his leg kicks... His striking in general, speed, power is all just incredibly good. So when you're going up against a calf, you actually are... It's pretty even, actually, if if you have Aldo and they have a calf. But this guy is... He's pretty much shameless with this calf. He does not care. I mean, look at those spinning back kicks. That is very good. I mean, that's crazy that he is uh, throwing those so fast. It almost makes me want to make a calf like that, even though I really don't know how they make their stats that good. But that would be funny to have a calf that can throw those spinning back kicks that fast because that's just hilarious at that point. But I get him in the mount here, and... I mean, these calves can just take such a beating from Mount. It's unreal. I mean, I was just wailing on that guy's face. And he has the standard move set for most calves. The um, sweep from bottom Mount. Which I don't know if I've seen anyone ever just toss someone over like that in a real MMA fight. That's ridiculous. But, you know, whatever. I don't know what THQ was thinking, but anyway, Jose Aldo going after the legs. This guy trying to get me down. I don't know. I think my head actually did get pretty damaged during this fight. And the guy actually, oh, I actually, yeah, right there, I actually damaged his leg. He actually shows the uh, reaction to it there. So that's good. Rock him here. I can't remember if I take him down or not. Look at this. As he's rocked, I'm throwing those leg kicks. Brutal. I start really targeting that leg, and it's just, it's actually really fun to do with Jose Aldo. It, it, it's kind of cheap, a little, but it's still fun. I mean, 
Jose Aldo's a beast, and it is fun to use him every once in a while. I usually steer clear of all the, you know, super overpowered guys, Jones, Uriah Faber, but it is, every once in a while, you got to pick him because, I mean, it's just fun. You know, and sometimes I do lose with these guys too, but usually it is to super cast. And I've been noticing a new thing that, that they have been doing calf users are actually doing this thing and let me know in the comments if you guys have seen this it's where the calves look you can look at their stats and their stats look normal like there's no 200 anything they have some 100 stats but nothing is 200 but then when you go in to actually fight them you find out very quickly that they have a legit super calf and all their stats are about 200 and you can't do any damage to them like i got this one guy in the mount and literally punched him in the face for the entire first round and it did not say in the stats that he had a super calf but it did no damage at all and it got to the point where he was just punching me from the bottom in mount and was like beating me up like like ready to rock me from mount top he was about to rock me and he was on the bottom punching up at me it, w it was just ridiculous i know that's not even possible but my head was just getting red from that and it was just i i don't know they're doing this thing where they can hide it and it's just really annoying so it's probably i mean look at these spinning back kicks this is insane this dude is spinning like a top this is like a tornado back kick right here. But uh, I don't know. Someone tell me in the comments. Get a counter going on here. I, I might actually put a counter on here in the video. Maybe. But, yeah, someone in the comments. Let me know how many spinning back kicks this guy's throwing here in this third round. This is re Look at that axe kick, how fast that is. That's like a jab. That's crazy right there. But anyway, the fight is coming to an end. This calf... I just get fed up with him, and, I, and I'm like, screw this guy. He's throwing too many spinning. He, he's not going to spin to win on me. But in the back of my head, I knew he was one rock, I was one rock away, but that's the fight. I get the uh, old trademark ducking uppercut. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Make sure to leave your vote for who you want to see in the next video. Also, let me know in the comments how many spinning back kicks that was and also if you've seen about any of those calves that are trying to hide their stats. Also, follow me on Twitch TV and Twitter. Till next time, it's been an MMA game. Peace. And here we see it again. Good night. Look at this. Twist the head around. His eyes roll back into his head. The lights go out. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest.